our team went down and we uh, we went to Opotsville and, and and eventually I embedded them in the University of Miami Miami facility where we worked during our stay down there and that's where I encountered this boy. This boy came in. I was running the pediatric tent there where we would see hundreds of kids coming in and out and we would arrange for them to have their surgeries and their debridements, their casting, medicines and so forth and in a group of uh, of uh, patients that came through identified this boy as well as many others who could not receive definitive treatment down at this tent facility. And I set them aside and started appealing uh, to uh, the officials down down in Port-au-Prince to allow us to take these these individuals out to, for definitive treatment in this country. I was not able to get any uh, real help in terms of uh, permission from the Haitian side or our, our side to take most of the kids out. But this boy um, this boy has uh, a difficult problem, and so I, I decided to try to pursue things in any way I could. And so I went ahead and pursued it, and was, we were all able to help get him out. Now he's here for treatment. He had been unable to get medical care, and, you know, in some way, this may have been some blessing somewhere that he was able to get, get involved with a wave of, of kids that got in. But his problem is no less serious than... In fact, I, I don't want to go into details, but it's a very, very, very grave situation for him if he doesn't get care. He can't walk. He can't put weight on his left leg. He's got pain in his left knee, and he's got a terrible problem in, in the leg that will eventually uh, be fatal. Let me go as far as to say that he has, he has a cancer that's uh, very advanced, and, but on the other hand, when we looked him over at the tent facility, we, we thought in evaluating him with, with the x-rays we had there that he would be someone who could be saved with proper combination of sur surgical reconstruction and chemotherapy. So that's what we're trying to arrange for him here and we're well on the way of getting that all arranged here. Having him here I think has been great for me. I was starting to feel I was starting to feel really bad on Saturday because thinking God I really I want to go back to Haiti. I need to be back to Haiti. I need to do something. and. Um, you know, I heard then that, that this this boy was coming, and I thought, well, you know what? Maybe this is where I this is where I need to be right now. Um, so talking with him, talking with his uh, with his family members, and, and um, has been wonderful. Um, he is the most amazing person I've met in a long time. There's just something about him that touches everyone he meets. He has a smile on his face. He knows. I truly believe he knows exactly, you know, what's going on. He's aware of it. He asks questions. But still, he enjoys the thing that kids enjoy. Um, I, I brought him in a, a notebook to use as a journal the, the day he got here. And um, immediately, before he even slept, he pulled it out started writing in it, writing the names of everybody he had interacted with thus far. And he said, I'm going to write my story down from the time I got sick up until now, and I'm going to keep writing. And he has been. He has been. Um, he's teaching me Creole. I'm teaching him English. And we're, we're having a, a good time on it.